All right, so we're testing out the towing capabilities of our excursion limo today. Because all the boys are off to an event today and we're gonna be bringing the Razor along with us. All right, so Mike's still sleeping. He had a long night last night. I feel like he's gonna need a little pep in his thing. Right? All right, you wanna do the other? No. Morning. If there was ever a way that you could get up on the wrong side of the bed in this bed, that was how. <laughs> I did a small one today, so. It still sucks. All right, so you guys saw last video, Mike and Ryan had to take a dip in the lake. We cut a hole in the ice. Well, anyways, there's like this event going on in the town next to us. Basically, it's like a fundraiser, but a bunch of people will be jumping into the lake. They cut a huge hole in the ice, and we're like, I think we're judging. It's like a costume contest. Anyways, I think we're the grand finale, so we rigged up this slide. It's very secure, very well built. We're gonna be sliding down and then dropping off into the water. That actually works pretty good. Yeah, hopefully it holds up for all five of us. Mike! Yeah. Speedo Mike, you coming? Yeah. What are you doing up there? <laughs> That's a nice suit. It's a nice suit. Dude, Mike's gonna look like a party boy in that. All right, so if you guys didn't catch on from Mike Speedo, basically it's a costume contest. We're the judges and our costumes is gonna be Team America. We put a lot of like hard, deep thinking into it. Ken wants to be Team Russia for some reason. All right, Mike, we're late. Come on, buddy. I gotta say, I don't think I've ever seen a razor with a slide on the front of it before. I really can't see with this slide. It's not super practical. <laughs> I mean, we're going on a limo ride. Right. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Mike is in rough shape this morning. What did you guys do last night? I wasn't hanging out with him. That's what being a zoo animal feels like. <laughs> Put the clubs down, bro. How do you even manage? I swung the club and the ball went straight up. That's not bad. <laughs> That's the part of the shot recorded so far. All right, so a month ago, some land came up for sale, not too far from us. Literally just I mean, right, right next pretty much to right next to us, which is really rare around here because just nobody really sells, I don't know. And within like two minutes, we got tipped off and we just snagged it up for a really, really good deal. We got really lucky. And uh, yeah, basically we're gonna go check that out right now. We also haven't looked at it yet. We bought it about a month and a half ago. We closed about two weeks ago and we've been waiting for the right day to go and check it out. So this is our first reactions to really like looking around the property. Yeah. All I gotta say is it's just nice to see a plan come together. You know what I'm saying guys? Yeah. Like we've been making noise here for three years. <laughs> Three years, and we've finally got one of the persons to sell. So <laughs> we just got a few more neighbors, and pretty soon we'll have this whole area. So if you look to our right, this is what we used to be working with. And then we just make this short drive, and just like that, we're here. Nothing but like a 30 second little trek. Go to, I go to like. Tell them to get off our land. Hey! Hey, get off our land! Oh. Every landowner ever? Go, go troll them, Mike. Hey! Fuck yeah! <laughs> hey, you f***ing kids, I was just watching you on fucking... <laughs> 
TV. Ah. <laughs> hey, if you're riding snowmobile anywhere around here, we this want you to be riding on our land, okay? This ain't your land. This is our land now. And we now just it bought is. it. Really? Yeah. Good job, boys. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we were just messing with you. Though. We had to say we say yeah. hi. Hey, you guys, you see my limo? You got a limo? Yes. Everybody's got a limo around right here. Good to meet you, boys. Hey, good, good to meet you, meet too. You too. Dude, we're terrible landowners. We had no intimidation. We just made friends with them. What a beauty. No, no, no. We're the opposite of landowners. Most landowners kick snowmobilers off their land. We only want you riding on our land. So the drone's up in the sky right now. You can see from the air. The entire property is 40 acres overall. 30 of the acres are basically just flat field. If I get back to this camera, not a whole lot going on. Five acres of it is wooded. The other five acres of it is swampland. Most people, when there's like swamp on their land, they're like, oh, you don't want that. You don't want any of that. But for us, we're like, yes, swamp. We can go mudding. Yeah, we, we kind of got the best of all worlds. Yeah. So we're gonna go and check out the woods right now. There actually is something back here. Oh yeah. This is where people settled when they came to Cormorant 300 years ago. Oh, <laughs> no. What the f dude? I actually did not think there was gonna be anything back here. So what's funny is when we bought this, we knew it would go fast, so we literally bought it without looking like any inspection, any looking at it, anything. Just gave them money. And so they never had any updated like Plot maps. Holy crap, guys, there's more shit back here. Do you guys realize how old this house would have to be? At least seven. Maybe eight. Oh, there used to be a basement in it. It's kind of exciting, too, because now when spring comes, we'll be able to, like, re-come back here and see what's actually in it. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited for that. And yeah. we still got two more little things back here. There's a pump right there, a well. No way. Whoa. Oh, Miss Mike. Yeah! <laughs> That's pretty cool, dude. Yeah, it is. This says 1880 on it. 1890. Cormorant is already tiny, but it was like nothing back then. I don't really know what any of this Why is. is this it's so like, small? It's like, like, like a little this shed, is a dude. Shed. This is tiny. Oh, oh this might have been the outhouse. Room. No way. Oh, an outhouse? There's a shitter in there. What? I mean, there hey, we got another toilet you for you, see. Ken. You can see where the bench was in the back. I this can't believe people outhouse. came out here to shit in this. Ken gets a whole chair. Oh, like a whole Be recliner. Grateful, Ken. What do you guys think this thing is? I don't know. Like Looks like it was like a lean-to. Oh, so this was a whole nother part to it. Uh, this is what we can put up on our land to keep everyone out. Oh, wow, you can get film this guy. Tight space mic. Wow. <laughs> so what's all that stuff in there? It looks like egg farm equipment. Huh. I mean, I guess there's a farm field next to it. Oh. No roof on this though, but it's got cement walls. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of freaky as shit in here. Freaky as shit inside. I don't like this. This is too tight. Oh. We can start a farm now. That's true. 
we're gonna put a pit bike track right here and then a dirt bike track right there and then a, a UTV track right there and then we're gonna um, buy out like a NASCAR stadium and then move it to over here. We're gonna have CJ's strip club right in the corner over there. <laughs> I think we're gonna name it Big Ken's actually. Oh, That's no. actually a fire strip club name. Big Ken's? Big Ken's male strip club. You can manage it, there you go. No, but I mean honestly the thing is we can't go wrong buying land nowadays and if anybody can use land to the maximum of its opportunities, it's us. Alright, so we got the razor all tied up. Ken and Mike are the workhorses here. Ken and Mike, an absolute dream team. God, this is not gonna go well. Good, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, I don't want to get sucked in the track. I knew something was gonna happen there. All right, guys, Polaris is just about to pull up to the shop. They're showing up with two brand new snowmobiles. Apparently, they did something crazy this year. We have no idea what to expect, but they're about to pull up and we're gonna basically get to go and ride them and have fun with them. So I believe they are released right now to you guys, but we're filming this about a month beforehand. So I don't know, we're kind of on the inner circle. It's pretty cool that they trust us to do this. Dude, this is insane. You know, I've never ridden CJ's 850 and went, oh, I wish it was faster. Uh, These sides are fast. They're very fast. I think they're like four and a half right now, zero to 100. What? We'll see. Unconfirmed. All right, so both of these snowmobiles are confidential experimental vehicles. Do they even have VINs? No VINs? So if they disappear, nobody's gonna come looking for them? As long as you come home with two players snowmobiles, right? There's I think we got one and then one over there. As a man who's come to like lime green, this is kind of it for me. What's the status with these windshields? What do you mean? Are, are, are those staying on for this today? Do you want to take them off? I'm not saying we have to, just... No, we can. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This looks proper. You know what this means, Ben? Just keep your mouth shut yeah. for the next month. Ken, no Instagram stories, buddy. You're giving me shit? Look at Micah. What? When do I just spill the beans on things? When does Micah? <laughs> uh, I, I, can't, I can't say that on, on YouTube, but... That was you! Ken walks into work and has to sign an NDA for the week. That's actually a good idea. I'm gonna create an NDA. And then you leak it, and then it <laughs> play me for it. Why would I leak it? On the new 23 shoot, a couple of beauty steeds. They, they sneak their way in. <laughs> yeah, you still gotta pay respect to the old. Is that my stallion there? Or that one. You take a pick. Ken gets your leftovers. What one's faster, honestly? What one's better? I want the good one. I'll be honest, I'll that one. Alright, I'll take that one. Okay. <laughs> joke around with this whole mask thing. Taking off your snowmobile cover is like the equivalent of taking your bra off after a long day. You speak from a kid? Yeah.
may or may not have frostbite it's like negative 15 degrees out right now but the boosts were working today that's for sure Dude, i don't know if i'll be able to go back yeah we're definitely tainted now because these things are rocket ships big thanks to players big thanks to nels for bringing them out and letting us uh have a little bit of an exclusive access and uh thank you guys for watching i'd like to get a shot of uh, all of us on the lake that'd be cool Ha 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 